Okay, guys, so my name is David. My name is Ismail. And we're Tech News. And for today, we're going to bring to you guys the first impressions of Mac OS uh, Mojave. And why should you care about this? Um, we recently downloaded it to our computers. Yeah. Ismail just made the cut, man. Mid-2012 mm-hmm. model up to the current Mac Um, have the ability to download this so if you do make sure to download it but we're gonna give you all a breakdown of a few of the reasons why we think you should get it so I think Ismail start us off why should people download this on their Macs all right overall the appearance that it has it gives it a more I feel like elegant appearance with that dark mode you can add more elegance either when you're sitting at nighttime or during the day it looks pretty nice too Okay, yeah, I think definitely the um, the new display um, looks really nice. The new wallpapers, uh, I, I recently noticed one that Ismail told me about, which is the daytime or daylight dynamic dynamic the dynamic, the dynamic yeah. one, um, which pretty much what it does is it shows you the the back or the wallpaper as the day goes by, it gets darker. Yeah, right? it changes depending on the time that you're at or the place, the location. Depending on the time, it's going to be changing. The sun rises from one side and it sits on the other side. And then when it's dark, you can actually see like the stars in the wallpaper and it turns dark. Okay, so definitely we're going to show you all how it, how it happens um, through yeah. a recording. And Ismail is going to kind of display that. But we just want to touch on a few other things, um, why you should, you should download this onto your Mac. So th- there's a few apps that weren't on Mac that now are, such as Stocks and the News app. They're now on Mac, yeah. so if you use those a lot, <clears throat> definitely get the Mojave update. There's also another one that's called Stacks. I don't know if you've Stacks. used it. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you want to talk a little bit about it? Okay, so what it does is if you have like a disorganized desktop, which I feel like Boy! most people do, yeah, like you just hit that command or you go to that option and it, it sorts it out for you. Like it sorts it out like images, movies, if it's documents, like it puts them on Stacks. Basically, that's what it is. Yeah, so pretty much um, you can definitely use it as an organizer. And organizers really are helpful, when, especially if you're editing or you have a lot of files. There's also another one. It says that you can also scrub through thumbnails with now just a two-finger scroll. Have you tried that? I haven't tried that one. Okay, so there's that. that there's a new, um, I guess, new update or new feature. There's also across a variety of apps such as Numbers and Pages. Um, you can click control control and click and you can add a photo instantly by taking a picture with your phone yeah now i tried it yesterday and i thought it worked awesome like yeah it's really good especially for students um college students that need to put in papers it can even scan a document um into like one of these apps so i think that's really helpful if you're in a rush to like submit a paper or do any of those other things mm-hmm. what how how would you use it so what i would use it is for basically what i do right now in high school is like labs like science labs and when i have to like take a picture of a paper or something i just click the option and then edit automatically on my phone pulls out the camera and i can just take the picture and it puts it right in yeah so i think that that's definitely awesome guys a, a feature that many people can use in various different apps and then i think one of the big ones is the mac app store so well, what do you think about the mac app store i'm a little excited because i feel more apps are going to be more integrated into yeah. the mac system such so i hear that word and like microsoft is implementing office mm-hmm. into the mac o, um the mac os app store yeah. what do you think so what i heard too is like i think it looks really nice it's a better appearance there's like more apps or easier to find the apps but also i heard that Apple is now kind of trying to let other people, like people that make iOS apps, mm-hmm. to put their apps on like the for the MacBook. Okay, so more developing. Yeah, yeah developing more apps for like Mac. That's awesome. But yeah, because previously I felt like they were kind of declining. Like they didn't really have a lot of apps mm-hmm. available for for that. But uh, what I did notice is um, even for like music producers, uh, for the Logic Pro, they're they're providing updates. For those, mm-hmm. hopefully for Final Cut, <laughs> um, eventually we'll, we'll we'll touch on that. Yeah, eventually. We'll t- eventually we'll touch on Final Cut. Um, for anyone that makes videos uh, on Mac, they know what we're talking about. But yeah, these are just a few features, and um, we're gonna have a screen recording of kind of like so you guys can picture it and you guys can see Mac OS Mojave in action. 
Um, All right. So I have it right here. So okay. Hopefully you guys can see it. <coughs> All right. So well, we're going to go first. So this is the new wallpaper we see right here, but we're going to see it in action. So I already have it activated. You can activate this wallpaper by going to your system preferences. Then you go to desktop and screensaver. And then it's going to show you two options. You have this one, which is like a sand dune. And then there's another one, which is just like a color scale, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that one, but let's go with this one. Let's see if it changes. Is it going to change? Oh, yeah. I also clicking it. All right. So we have it there. So the difference between these two wallpapers and all of these is that these change depending on the location and the time of where you're at. When it's nighttime, it's going to look like this. And when it's, the, when it's daytime, it's going to look like this. But if you guys really want to see it in action, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to date and time settings. And then we're going to manually change the time. All right. So I'm going to uncheck this box. All right, now it's gonna let us. So let's change it to the beginning of the day. Let's do 7 a.m. So that's what it's gonna look like. And then let's go to p.m. Around 7 p.m. It's gonna look like that. So as you go down, you can go to when it's like really dark and then that's when the sun starts to like set down and then when it's like really dark like really night time it looks like this so the thing with this wallpaper is that you don't have to actually change the time it's just an example but it's automatically gonna do it for you Mm -hmm. So as time goes on, I think that's really cool because you, you don't get to see like the same wallpaper like all the time If you're working at night, you get to see this beautiful wallpaper too and any other I mean, yeah, that, I think that's a really nice feature and also I think the biggest one besides the stacking is uh, The photo one uh, where you can automatically control click and add a photo from your iPhone Yeah, so you can maybe. use this setting right here. I don't think we can use it right now because your I'm, phone's not connected. Yeah, I mean, it's connected, but we're using it to record this video. Exactly, guys. So it might, it might mess it up. Okay, guys. So so this is the stacks option. Uh, you can just press it, and it automatically moves all your files to the right side and puts them in stacks. Yeah. So since I already have mine in folders, it doesn't really show that much of a difference. Mm -hmm. But if you have, like, different documents, like, around, like, everywhere, you just press that command, and then it does it for you. Yeah, so definitely useful for, for people that need organizing. And the other one is pretty self-explanatory. I even used it in notes. Um, you pretty much, same thing as he did with Slack. You press, uh, control click, and it'll give you the option to take a picture uh, from your phone or from an iPad. And you'll see it in various different, um, in the ecosystem. <laughs> Which is really cool um, when you have Apple, right? Apple yeah. devices, everything works together. Um, there have been a few videos about the ecosystem. <laughs> So maybe we'll talk about that later, why there's such good integration between Apple devices. But anyways, that was just a breakdown um, of macOS Mojave. It's pretty interesting. Uh, we, we just have, what, first impressions, right, right yeah. now for Mojave, and we'll keep you all posted. But definitely, I would download it. Now, one thing is I heard Mojave does have, it's not too much of a gigabyte eater, but it is a, a reasonable size. Yeah. So just keep that in mind whenever you're, you are downloading Mac OS Mojave. But for most of you guys that have, I don't know, starting 256 gigabytes. Yeah, 250. Um, oh, 250? Uh, yeah. Y'all should be fine. So no worries there. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, that's all. That I just really recommend it. You should upgrade. Oh, I think actually before we leave, let's show the dark mode. Okay. We didn't really show that one, but... Uh, you also go to system preferences and then let me see if I all right so under appearance in general this is I guess the regular mm -hmm. this is the light and you can see it might be a little bit brighter but mm -hmm. I, I actually prefer the dark one and then what I like to do is it I think by default it's on blue mm -hmm. but I like, I like doing gray so that here you can see like a difference in color 
That's pretty cool. And then I just like the contrast between like the black and then and then the buttons and stuff like that. So that's how you change it from light to dark. Yeah, and I felt like that that's a good feature because um, I don't know. Have you heard a lot of people complain about the um, about Mac or OS looking very old? Like, yeah. And not mm. up to speed. Like when people use Chrome or when they use other you know web browsers yeah. or software, that it seems more I don't know. I guess more up to date, and I feel like Mac noticed that it was kind of falling behind in regards to like design or yeah. at least an interface. I feel like the GUI has to do a lot with, like even though it might Safari or like other apps might be like really fast, mm -hmm. if it doesn't have like a good appearance, it might look slow for some people. Yeah, it depending like that, and yeah. Yeah, but that that's pretty much it. Um, so we, we do appreciate you guys. Um, like Ismail always likes to say, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so it can ring every time we have a new video yeah. coming up. But definitely, guys, check out macOS Mojave. Um, it's available right now um, for anyone with a Mac. So without further ado, this is Tech News, and we're out. out.